When I was about five years old, I was asked to be a little flying angel in the Christmas production at my church. Up to 50 feet high, swinging, suspended by two wires, hooked up in a harness, and having a lot of faith. <laughs> As I grew up, I was able to have the experience to become an adult angel. One of the number one questions we get asked, are you ever scared? Honestly, not at all. It's an experience like no other. You literally feel like you're flying. And I know that there's an audience down there and people and singing and dancing and lighting and everything, but when you're out there, you really feel like it's just you and, and God out there. I think a story that sticks out the most to me is when I was a little girl, my mom told me about something that happened after I flew one day. My parents always prayed with me before we went out to fly, and it was a very specific prayer. We would say, Dear Lord, Please let the angels protect me as I fly, and not let the audience see me, but see Jesus through me. In Jesus' name, amen. And so we would pray that every time I would fly. After one of the performances, a woman approached my mom, and she said, is that your daughter? And they point at me, and my mom's like, yeah. And she says, I saw my daughter through your daughter. And my mom was like, okay. And she goes, no, you don't understand. My daughter died. I was asking God to send me comfort, a peace. It was able to bring a confirmation that her daughter was okay. Looking back on it now reminds me of why I do what I do. It's the little girl that asks if you can say hi to grandma for her, or the little boy that wants to sit next to an angel and touch her wing, or that person who comes to a performance who's honestly broken, lost hope, and they look up and they see an angel, and they see a light through us that says, there really is hope. If I am able to affect just one person out of an audience of 3,000, I'm set, I'm satisfied because I know that I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs>